template is almost a good fit for this side. Oh yeah, baby! <laughs> First look at the next panel. I'm on a bit of a mission to get 12 different panels done. It will be epoxied in place. It will not be removed without chopping it up. Well, that was a fail, as you just saw. These will be the last panels that will close off this whole engine area. Well, wouldn't you know it? You gotta be lucky sometimes, right? I've actually been a little bit lucky here. The panel for this side, on the starboard side of the engine bay, that template, which is good now for the port side, is almost a good fit for this side. I actually was surprised. I was sort of hoping that it might be pretty close. And as it turns out, it is. I mean, <laughs> You know, you'd hope so, because it's meant to be symmetrical, but man, things are not easy on a boat, right? But this has come up so close, it's literally only a few mil in a couple of different edges, but that is so close. This aft end here, where my thumb is wiggling, that needs to be a bit different, because on the port side is the bed base, whereas on this side, this panel's going to continue. This will be broken up into, well, as it turns out, three panels for the whole length of it. I spent hours in here last night, probably a good two and a half hours just nutting out how the heck I was going to nut out doing all of these engine bay panels, including the front panels, which, as it turns out, that's going to be much trickier than I thought. I think I'm onto that now. It will likely need more adjustments and fine tuning, but that time last night was well spent because what I thought I was going to do won't work. And so now I do think I've got a design for that. Wait till you see it actually, because it's gonna be very user friendly once it's all finished. Back to this panel though, just a few little changes. It's really handy too, because it means I can use this same template for both sides, which will obviously mean a bit of time saving. So I've added on the little extras for this. Now go down below, pull out some marine ply, it's been some time since I've done that, and start chopping up some more panels. This will be the proof of the pudding. See if this fits. Oh yeah, baby! <laughs> 
Another win. Oh my goodness. That is a fit. Will that sit there? Yes, it will. Oh man, that looks good. I have these other two pieces up here to finish this little piece off. So that is now closing off this cabin two area nicely. Let's go and see what the starboard side panel looks like. That's cut up. See if that fits. I hope it's a nice fit like the other one. Oh yeah, bang on. Man. Oh yeah, that is another good fit. Winning people, winning. First look at the next panel. Well, I'm not sure if I mentioned, but I'm on a bit of a mission to get 12 different panels made up. They're for different parts of the boat. Most of it is for the aft of Mistress in cabin two and three. These pieces here, I've just cut them up with the table saw, stripped them down. One is going to go on top of the other. They are different widths. And what that's going to make up is the breakfast bar, which will go on top of that bulkhead separating the galley and the saloon. I think you can see there, it's a bit of a step, and that is so that it will give a nice thickness 
for the top of the breakfast bar so it's nice and solid and that step there is the thickness of that bulkhead and then what I'll do is that will step so that it will sit and against the saloon side it'll be flush so that you don't bang your head on a lip overhanging and then on the galley side underneath I'll have supports to take the loading that this will get over time being something like this you can imagine people are going to lean on it grab onto it this needs to be a very strong piece in the scheme of things so I'm going to be beefing this up and making it really strong it will be epoxied in place so that it will not be removed without chopping it up and so the plan is to epoxy these together what I'll do is I'll give an initial coat of epoxy let that cure and then tomorrow I'll epoxy those together so that they become one Well this panel is going to be tricky to fit actually where it has to go in mistress in this cabin two aft right up the top against the decks position this cutout here is to accommodate for that strut that I've got supporting the deck the real test of course is going to be trying to get this in which we'll do shortly the other thing to say is that this is number six panel out of the 12 that I'm doing I'm on schedule so everything crossed that I can keep the momentum and production up and get those 12 panels done. Cross your fingers for me, folks. <laughs> well, that was a fail, as you just saw. I think it was worth a shot, though. Had it fit, it would have made getting this end, whole end here much much easier and simpler for fitting when I have the template in there obviously there's way more flexibility in that template and it was able to just curve around that little end piece in the very aft there where I was trying to get this end this end was digging into the insulation and it, it would not have passed even if I'd got it past the insulation it still had to come up and around that batten that was not going to happen so what it means is I'll need to trim up here and I'll just probably put a rebate on that line there and then put a stainless steel flat bracket top and bottom that should hold it nice and flush and in place at this end and then right at the aft end here it'll screw into the batten
As I've mentioned a couple of times, I'm on a bit of a mission with 12 panels. I've got nine of those done now, with the exception of just a couple of little fill-in pieces on the upper levels of both cabin two and three, where I need to fill in the aft end of those top panels. And that leads me to the remaining three. And they are three around this engine bay here. These will be the last panels that will close off this whole engine area. But it's going to be a little bit different because this area, as I sort of mentioned before, is going to be something a little bit tricky, but the final outcome should be really user friendly. So I'm going to make this as a box and it will be hinged off a really solid step here. I'll have two hydraulic struts which will assist when lifting that up and also hold it in place when it is up. So this needs to be designed pretty carefully, obviously. And one of the key considerations that I have here with designing this is it needs to be able to clear the engine here at the forward end. This front panel needs to be designed in such a way that with the insulation that I will be lining these panels with, it needs to allow a bit of space between the front of the engine, the insulation which will be adhered to this panel. It is a little bit of a tricky design challenge actually. I am looking forward to it and the other thing that is going to be so nice to do is once the panels are made up and fitted together, I will be able to move on to making these rosewood steps which that I think is going to be a nice little touch to match with the other rosewood in Mistress. And while I'm here, can I just take a moment to give a bit of marketing plug for building SY Mistress. I don't, as most people know, give much of a plug when it comes to the marketing side of building SY Mistress, but nothing's for free, right? I have a great team of patrons who really are wonderful and their support is just fantastic. In earlier times, I was pretty much doing things all under my own steam, but I've realized now that in order to actually continue doing what I'm doing with putting videos together and making them public, which does take money and a lot of time, I actually couldn't keep doing this without a bit of support and I guess also reward for my efforts. So can I encourage people, check out my Patreon page. There are rewards there and there's actually quite a lot of extra information that goes in there that patrons get access to, which I don't make public. And that's going to become quite exciting in the very near time ahead, because folks, I can say launch time is not that far away now. And Patreon is where you're going to get the earliest notifications all about that. And if you happen to not be keen on becoming a patron, but you would like to throw a bit of support, mistress's way, you can always drop me a little something through the paypal.me account. Another little plug I'd like to do is for the merchandise that I've put together. I can say the sales of that really have come to a grinding halt, which is not so cool because I did put a lot of effort into getting quality gear for that. There are four different shirts available. There are four different cap designs available and there are four different stubby coolers. Check out my website where you can find that and order something for yourself or somebody you know. And with those shirts, the graphic on the back is actually off the plans, scale, representation exactly of Mistress. But what I would like you to know is that by purchasing something, you really are supporting building SY Mistress and the future thereof. So I hope that people who haven't contributed to a little bit of support. I hope that you could consider it a way of saying thanks for the videos you have watched and the videos ahead. Thanks for listening to my little marketing plug. I admit, I'm not good at marketing. If somebody wants to get on board and lead the way with better marketing, invitations are open for that. Leave a comment if you've got good ideas about helping me to market better. In the next episode, I get the remaining three panels made up and they all get epoxied. Woo! It's one thing to put lines on a bit of paper with measurements. Well, people, got there. Another panel making fest. And of course, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't. Click the bell so you get the notifications. Check out my website 
And as I always say, leave a comment because I like reading what you have to say.